That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <sighs> Great. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. <laughs> Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go otters. Boys or girls? Girls. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Why did that decision matter? What? I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Nah, goggles. I made them a goofball and misplaced my flexi web swim goggles. I found turn of gratitude and a $25 bean hip cafe gift card. <laughs> hmm. I hope the otters will survive. When the earth can't wait, inform yourself, then share, become an eco volunteer today. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. <laughs> Reward. Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books, a new tablet, I need this for class, and my tablet's private picks of my late cats. I already read this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A sock. Where <laughs> does that other sock go? Oh gosh. Brooke? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Hmm. Should really ask her to go. God dang. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Towels. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. What are these? Slippers in a swimming pool. Are they training Navy frogmen here? Hmm. Victoria's locker. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. Otter sea beavers? The wit. It burns. Kate's. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Where's my liker? Victoria yeah, Chase Rose. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Anything here? Rachel abides? I hope so, friend. Dear Kate, I don't well, care. Well, we care, dickhead. Hmm. <laughs> Talk about being in the Sancto Sanctuary, Sanctorium. Thanks to that in class, I barely passed. Of Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight going through his files and laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes, I just pretended that we were on a very special episode of the Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, just a couple of wacky Sherlock's investigating the school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. Wizards of Waverly Place. Wow. 
While we didn't find the proof, we found Nathan's file had a weird drawing in it that just said Rachel in the dark room over and over. So that's a major clue that Nathan is involved in this somehow. Or it's just insane. But his note also refers to David M, which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret bunker files for a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself when she actually wanted to take five grand in cash marked handicapped fund, because that's gotta be legit, am I right? Can't think of a faster route to karma hell, but I would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her. But it kind of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her, but I can't just let her do anything she wants. Mad Max, more like Mommy Max. Oh man. Oh no, I don't know. This person's. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Purpose, forgot. Chloe. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks, they bite. So do I. Hit that light. Okay, I think right here, no running for sure, but I'm going to fall. <laughs> what the heck is the light switch? In here? Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Huh. Oh, yeah, this is the boys' room. Might as well look. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self righteous hypocrite. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Dana needs a baby dad. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Max, I wonder who did that one. Welcome to 1950. I love Warren. I bet you do. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, what about this one? No worries, it's all bad. Sometimes. Mm. He said... Some poor hipster lost their vape. Nathan? It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Diazepam. Hmm. I know Diazepam, but I don't know the other ones. Zachary's jersey. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. This must be for training kids. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Anything bad things about you? Uh, Warren? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Huh? Logan? I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you, love Logan. <clears throat> I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Hmm. So where's the light switch at? I found this one. Oh, 
Really? Boys locker room is right. <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Mm -hmm. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. <laughs> yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Let's see, yeah, they need to do that, but let me just look around first. So the big plan is win. Win. <laughs> win. 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 <sighs> Now I have the power over light and death. We're still gonna get caught. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was fast. What was that? Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Hmm. Time to do or dive, Max. She just took off her clothes. Hmm. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Uh, thanks to you? Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. <laughs> no, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan, but I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. 
now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! Busted. Shoot. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Wait, hide? Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Are you shitting me? Wait, what? How'd you get there? Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. Hide where? I could use my power. Or... Just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? So where's the good hiding spot? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Please go that way. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Shoot. <laughs> That's not gonna help me. <laughs> I like, we're gonna hide. Hello? <sighs> Where can anybody hide in there? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. What was that? Oh, not this way. Damn. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Shit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car.
always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think uh, get up. Keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Can I start the music first? Are <laughs> you stalled again? I forgot about that. Uh, I guess you didn't blow up Blackwell last night, I'm almost glad. By the way, the driving is actually popular, so I'm buying that the ticks now. I have an extra one in case you change your mind. Despite all the usual breaking in and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided what we needed more than anything was to take a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so giddy and rebellious that I was like, oh yes, we shall swim. We then completely shinny skin skinny dip, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't know why we were so careless at being so careful. I love that Chloe brings up the just don't give a fuck side of me, even if that hasn't always served her well. She deserved the moment of not giving a shit. Me too. Just two friends goofing around in the pool. Fear those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of our past. God, sound sound like one of the teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talked about dumb boys and girls and why they're trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about our life experience. She has me so beat, I take pictures. She takes, she takes action. Speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh, how quiet could we be in the swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a trail of our black hole handiwork. So intense and exciting to get past the security guards, they had serious wildlife power, so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past. Especially as we had to bail in Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Kind of like Chloe Price. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Mm -hmm. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Chloe, money now. I don't have your money yet. It's my last message. I get it. Wow. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shit storm. Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yeah. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Uh, did you have a So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. You crushed? Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. 
You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Hmm. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Hmm. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Mystic weather, supernatural science. <laughs> can I check out the news on this old laptop? At least we haven't been identified yet. <laughs> Incident. Police and fire departments responded to a break in of vandalism on the Blago Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not start, stated if they have any suspects yet. Incident. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off Peckin Path Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He is being held without bail depending on further investigation. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Blackwell student in stable condition. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in her stable condition under supervision, supervision at Arcadia Bay Med Center. No more information visible is available at this time. I love this song. I wish I could take it off. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Is it like seven years ago? Everybody lies. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Hmm. Don't be so me, Chloe. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. Jeez. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Wow. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But mm. not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oof. Double. Damn. Fine. Jeez. Dang. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. <laughs> now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Jesus. Unless he's into girl and girl action. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. All right, that was funny. Look. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Did I see who's in this drawer? I don't think I'll be moshing today. Max, a couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Mm, Maybe don't. not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. Mm. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay?
Alright, let's get out. <clears throat> oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. I'm glad to see that. Max, thank you for my heart for reaching out for me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I had to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. Father, grateful as well. You've always been on prayers, love, and blessings your friend Kate. Hey, Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can. Promise. Heck, I, I double promise that. Whew. Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. Mm -hmm. That the same bird from yesterday. Penhold. Hair dye. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. No. <laughs> Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Chloe Jeez. never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. Alright, you say she doesn't care. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Ha. Ah. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Hmm. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Mm. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. <laughs>